What's up, guys? Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is Thursday, November 30th, and I had some very interesting news that came out of the European Central Bank uh, conference today. It's a two-day conference being held today and tomorrow. Uh, the name of the conference is uh, Digital Transformation of the Retail Payments Ecosystem. Um, so you had banks in, in attendance, and um, it was held in Rome, Italy. Uh, one of the uh, executive board members um, on, on the uh, European Central Bank's board um, really was very outspoken against crypto and, and he was urging the banks to find an alternative or solution that would compete with Bitcoin because these guys are getting scared. The banks are getting scared. Bitcoin surpassed $11,000. Um, people are going to start using crypto for uh, transactions. Um, so these guys are getting nervous. And I'm going to read his quote, what he said here. Banks need to implement instant payments as soon as possible and provide an alternative narrative to the ongoing public debate on the alleged innovation brought by virtual currency schemes. So he's obviously anti-crypto and um, he totally against Bitcoin. So he's urging the banks, come up with a solution. We, we need to combat this um, because this kind of undermines us. But, um, you know, a lot of these guys, of course, are going to try to protect their hold on money and the economy and governments. Um, but, you know, if you go back to 2008, the reason why Bitcoin was created was because these guys crashed the economy, right? Um, and now they're obviously very scared of what's happening. Um, and private digital currencies, um, you know, have been really a source of worry for many central bankers uh, because they they really threaten their control of the banking system and money supply and so forth. Um, so really, it was very anti-Bitcoin, anti-crypto, um, what was being preached there or said there. Um, and it was being, you know, a whole group of bankers, essentially, and banks representative. Uh, however, what was very interesting, Ripple was there in attendance. Now, you would think that, you know, this was very uh, kind of a clicky with the banks that they would not have any cryptocurrency represent representation there. And especially if they're going to say things like, you know, uh, we need to stop Bitcoin. We need to stop crypto. Um, it's it's very interesting that they allow Ripple to be there, which means that they're warming up to Ripple and its technology. And of course, this shows that Ripple uh, has is being a very aggressive. So they're getting into all these obviously these conferences that are included with banks, um, trying to get them on board. Um, so the rep the representative from Ripple that was there was Marcus Tresher. Uh, he's the global head of strategic accounts at Ripple, and um, he was part of one of the panel discussions. Um, and as I mentioned, no other um, uh, bank was in attendance. Um, and or, I'm sorry, no other crypto represent, representative was in attendance. And um, that kind of makes sense. Ripple is more of an established company, but, you know, no no one else. I, I don't even think anyone from a blockchain perspective was there as well. Um, so definitely both kind of negative and positive news here. Um, in a sense, negative for, you know, Bitcoin um, as well as the crypto market, but also positive for Ripple, which is more of an establishment crypto. Now, I know some people uh, from an ideology standpoint, um, they hate Ripple uh, because of what it represents. But at the same time, you know, while I believe in Bitcoin, I believe in the peer to peer, I believe in the, the open network. Um, I understand that the establishment has been around for a long time. And uh, really, there's no way to stop this. Even if you know we all jump on board and start using Bitcoin, there's no way to stop Ripple from doing what it's doing, and there's no way to you know shut down banks overnight. That's that's not going to happen. So we have to be realistic. Um, but I believe that crypto is going to open open up new doors for transparency and and for the future of transactions and and building trust and so forth. Um, you know, we have to let things play out and see what's going to happen. Um, but like I said, it's kind of both negative and positive here. Great news for Ripple. I think in the long run that they have their foot in the door and they're in attendance in these, these type of conferences and getting more banks on board. But also, um, it's, it's, you know, as a fan of Bitcoin and what it represents, uh, it kind of sucks because it shows these guys are ready to fight Bitcoin and digital currencies and cryptocurrencies. So, um, 
let me show you kind of the agenda document here. Um, it's a PDF from the European Central Bank. Um, and it just gives an overview of what happened, or, or I should say the agenda for the conference and so forth. So as you see here, um, European Central Bank and Banco d'Italia joint conference, uh, 30th of November and December 1st. So let me do a quick search here for Ripple. Um, I think I skipped a part here. Okay, yeah. So uh, here, panel discussion, the disruptive potential of fintech innovations for the retail payments ecosystem, a reality check. And as you can see here on this panel, guys, is someone from PayPal. Um, there's someone obviously here from uh, Bank Banco Banca Sella Group, uh, and then you have Marcus Tresher from Ripple. So pretty awesome um, that he was part of that conference. And Ripple was representative here, and they have a full bio of him in this document. Um, so which is really cool. Um, so Marcus is the, as mentioned, the global head of strategic accounts at Ripple. He has over 30 years experience in transaction, banking, and payment technology, including 12 years in global leadership roles at HSBC. So this guy comes from a banking background. Um, he served as a member of the global board of SWIFT. Uh, that's huge uh, because you know, Ripple is essentially a competitor of SWIFT, and, and, and the goal is to take business away from SWIFT. And, and uh, as far as Ripple's goal is to take away business from uh, SWIFT. So prior, prior to joining Ripple, Marcus was HSBC's global head of payments innovation, applying emerging fintech to solve customer challenges in digital payments, trade, and supply chain. So uh, this guy's a heavyweight, a lot of experience. Um, so awesome that Ripple was represented represented here, and um, you know maybe they get some relationships out of this. So uh, pretty cool, great news for Ripple. Uh, kind of bad news for Bitcoin and the crypto in a whole, but um, you know we have to see how things play out. So we'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Um, you know, kind of like I said, negative and positive news. Uh, great for Ripple, but also not that great for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up. And if please, if you want a more video and content on Bitcoin and Ripple and up to other cryptocurrencies, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.